Now this question is fairly typical of lots of things that you get in exams. There's lots of data, lots of text, and you've got to try and work out from this information what is relevant. So we've got a student recording their activity using a mobile phone. It gives a number of steps and how far they've gone, including you know going to school, doing whatever at school, and then doing stuff in the evening. And it also has a time that we're looking at between 7 o'clock in the morning and 11 p.m. at night. So although this is given in hours, we may need to convert into seconds. And we need to work out their average velocity. So the velocity is equal to the displacement divided by the time. Now, um, the displacement, and this is what this S stands for if we're looking at velocity, this is different to the distance, which is actually how far their legs actually move. Displacement is basically how far they ended up from where they started. And because uh, they wake up and they go to bed in the same bed, in this case, the displacement is actually equal to zero metres. Now, it doesn't matter what the time is, really. Um, it doesn't matter if we work out in hours or seconds. Anything, if you've got zero divided by anything, the answer is still going to be equal to zero. So because this person started and ended up at the same point, their average velocity during the day is zero metres per second.